Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a computer hard drive in Windows. So in Windows 10, when you have a hard drive set up and working, it'll show up under this PC. This was formerly called My Computer, and I still, you know, type that by instinct. So to pull up My Computer or this PC, hit the Windows key, just type My Computer, and hit Enter. And here you can see all the drives that are currently installed and working. This 240 gigabyte solid state drive is going to be the one I'm going to show you how to set up. So what I'm going to do is disable it and then walk you through the steps. So what you're going to need to do is hit the Windows key and type computer management or just computer and it should show up. This is very similar in Windows 7 but I'm showing you in Windows 10 here. So you double click on storage, double click on disk management, All right, I do have a lot of drives, so just kind of ignore that. Uh, so here's my 240i drive. I need to break this. Okay, so I deleted my drive. So you can see here the drives that are set up and working, they've got their letters, their titles, and their file sizes, and they're showing up as blue because they're partitioned and they're happy. And you can see up here the same type of thing. Shows the capacity, yada, yada, yada. If you scroll down here to disk three, that's my 240 gig drive, which shows a little bit less that's actually usable, and now it's black and unallocated. Now if your drive doesn't show up here, you'll need to go up to Action and click Refresh. If that doesn't work, go up to Action and click Rescan Disks. If your drive still isn't showing up after these steps, you likely need to set it up in the Motherboard BIOS. I've got a video tutorial showing you how to do that. You can watch it by clicking the card above or the link in the description below. So in Windows, when you install a new drive, you'll often need to go into Computer Management, find your unallocated drive, and then make a new simple volume. This is a pretty straightforward process. You can make multiple partitions if you want to. For the average user, I wouldn't bother. I would just use the entire maximum drive space and make sure these two match and hit Next. Assign a letter. This is just going to be I, so I hit Next. Okay, so you'll have your format your drive, you want to leave it as NTFS, leave it as default, and then type whatever you want your drive to be. This is going to be for my home theater computer, and I always like to put the drive size and if it's solid state or regular, just for my own reference, but this name can be pretty much whatever you want. I don't think you can use special characters though. You want to leave it on quick format, there's no need to do a, a scrub unless your drive has got weird origins or something. Hit next. And now it'll do the little wizard, which is very quick typically. You can see it's formatting here. Do, 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 do. And it's done. So it popped up. You can see the drive, the title I gave it, and it popped up and opened it, similar to like an SD card or a USB key when you plug it in. So it now recognizes the drive. So if I go back to this PC, you can now see it's got a different name than it used to be. And it's recognized, showing it empty, yada, yada, yada and it's with all my other drives. If you have an unallocated drive, it'll show up as essentially, well I should say, it just won't show up period. And it'll show up here typically with black. Um, and now you can do a double check here and see HTPC, it's partitioned. We did the simple with the NTFS file system. It's got one partition, you can see the capacity, you can see it's totally free. So now my drive is set up and ready to go and I can put junk on it. For example, if I wanted to shamelessly self-promote myself, I could move a video onto it. Ta-da! Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. And that's enough of that. So anyways, that's all there is to it to set up a hard drive in Windows. And one more thing before you go, if you'd like to learn how to install an M2 drive, those are the new super fast solid state hard drives, check out the video linked in the card above. As always, I'm Compulsion84, and I like to make videos about gadgets, gaming, and guns. Subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I hope I see you next time.